cork is a layer around the pop can, crumpled up paper, and a layer of foam wrapped it in tin foil to reflect any extra heat. We did not make the top or bottom to the prototype because it was too big and we need, knew we needed to change the design and materials. What we used for the prototype. Foam, paper, crunched up, cork, tin foil, packing, plus duct. What is cork? Cork is taken from the bark of the oak trees. Most cork is grown in Portugal, Spain, southern France, Italy, and North America. The process of skinning the cork does not damage the trees. This can continue till the tree is about 200 years old. Why is cork a good insulator? We chose to use cork as our main insulator because it is low thermal conductivity. Cork is made out of poly polyhydral cells. Each cell has 14 sides. Each side is strong, flexible, waterproof, and airtight with low density, but is only good for thermal insulator. Tin foils are a good reflector of visible and infrared light, but conducts heat with light that is absorbed. Tin foil will also reflect a lot of heat by only radiant heat. Heat is that is transferred as the light energy passes through the foil without direct contact. Some radiant heat will be absorbed. Paper. Paper insulates better if there is lots of trapped air. That's why if I crumpled up the paper instead of leaving it flat. Air by itself is a poor thermal conductor, so anything with trapped air is a good insulator if there is no convection taking place in the trapped part. If the air layer is is thin less than two centimeters so convection cannot take place in the space if it is bigger for example five to six centimeters then convection will take place and heat energy foam we chose to use foam because of the fact anything that has trapped air in it is good insulator and foam is very squishy and air filled like sponge lots of air pockets sticky tack it is a synthetic rubber with harmful ingredients. It should be stored in a cool location and kept away from heat, but waterproof and doesn't float. Thermos flask. Final piece. What we did to make the final piece. We took three layers of cork with a layer of tinfoil in between. Cork, tinfoil, cork, tinfoil, cork, tinfoil. Then wrapped it in a final layer of tinfoil and decorated the outside. For the cap, it's two layers of cork stuck together with tin foil wrapped around it so no excess heat can get through. The waterproofing's on the side so that no excess heat can slip through the edges. The sticky tacks on the top for waterproofing. What we used cork, tin foil, packing tape, weatherproofing, sticky tacks, stickers, staples, pop can, and markers.